I also got to work in the ReStore on Tuesday when it was raining and um, me and five other people worked on doorknobs and some uh, store donated about a thousand doorknobs to the ReStore but they found out that some of them were missing the plunger which is the part that sticks out when you actually turn the doorknob so we had to go through all the boxes and look to make sure they had all of the parts and then sort them um, whether they had all the parts or not. And while this seems like a really tedious task, it was actually probably one of my favorite jobs that I did all week because while it was something kind of mindless, it was something that we were able to talk and get to know each other better. And I probably had some of the best conversations with people doing those thousand doorknobs um, that we had to wrap and tape and uh, sort. So seeing the, your relationships grow in just the smallest little tasks is really cool um, on these work trips and I really enjoyed that. Okay. Um, so I'm supposed to talk about people on the work site and there was so many great people on the work site. It's hard to really touch upon each one of them but I picked few people that I worked closely with, with to talk about. Um, so on the work site, our site supervisor, Doug, stressed that in addition to progress, fellowship was an important part of the work day. And so I found out fellowship was one of my favorite parts of working each day. Um, I was consistently amazed at the talent the men and women workers had when it came to hammering, sawing, and most importantly, envisioning how a house's structure when all they had was just pieces of wood and nails in front of them. I mean, it was amazing. Um, although hammering in one nail for the workers took a maximum of maybe two or three hits and me ten on a good try, um, they always were main patient, kind, and encouraging, all of which quali qualities I hope to take with me when being a teacher. Uh, one worker I grew fond of over the week was named Brad, uh, and Jordan worked with him too as well. He's a really sweet man. Um, he always had a big smile on his face when you finally got a tough nail to go in or excited when you wanted to try something new. And um, I'll definitely take with me Brad's kindness and his work ethic. Uh, another man that comes to mind on the work site is Warren, and if everyone I think could probably agree with me that um, your first impression of Warren is that maybe he's difficult to please. Uh, he's kind of tough, um, but as I learned more about him, he has a really kind heart and he just takes really a lot of pride in his work and he always gives 100%. And so um, I'll take with me his hardworking attitude for sure. Uh, Lastly, a name I won't forget on the work site is Sarah. And for girls, she definitely made construction work look cool. She's a really neat woman. Uh, she never doubted her abilities and always worked just as hard as the boys. So definitely I'll take with her my confidence. Um, so yeah, those are just a few people that were on the work site that were great. But um, overall, as I was thinking about all of the people that we met, um, it's just neat to look back on that every, like if we went back to the work site, which I'd love to do someday, every wall that was raised and every nail that we hammered, it has a story and it has a memory and I love that. So I definitely, that was one thing that I would tell someone in order to encourage them to go on a work trip.